This is where I'm staying. Hello from the hotel. It's been a pretty chaotic day today and to cut the long story short, I actually uh, decided to come to a hotel within one hour after checking into the hostel. Thinking that being in a mixed dorm of eight people would be okay because I've done that before. But it's not very clean and I was welcomed by a hairy leg and a hairy belly. So I'm just like, maybe I should reconsider staying there. I felt really bad for the owner because he looked so disappointed that I was checking out within an hour of checking in but you can't always please everyone so first let me show you the room upon entrance this is what you see to the left is the bathroom and then there's the hanger here's my luggage here is my big bed and I like that there's that corner TV there's an air conditioner and this goes outside Look at the view. And there's even this outdoor sitting place. So it's been really chaotic ever since I came down from the bus in Sapa. There'll be people trying to ask you like, Oh, where are you from? What's your name? And try to sell you stuff. And it was pretty hard to get a Grab taxi here. There's mostly random people on bikes that will ask you if they can give you a ride and you have to pay them. And there's also regular taxis but I trust Grab Taxi more because everything is recorded on the app. So yeah, it took me like 10 minutes to get a cab to the hostel. And then from the hostel, there's this bike man who asked if I needed help with my luggage to go to my hotel. I was like, 20,000 dong? Sure, that's like 4 ringgit, why not? So now it's almost 5 p.m. I've wasted like 2 to 3 hours just with all this chaos and I'm really hungry because I haven't even had breakfast so right now I'm gonna go look for food probably get some coffee nearby It is 8.15 right now and this is how it looks like. So misty. Good morning! Right now it is 8am and I'm about to head down for breakfast before I go on my hiking trip. Today is the only full day I have in Sapa. So I actually booked a trekking uh, trip that will take 6 hours in total. So I will start at 9 and end around 3 o'clock. I have my trekking boots on so I keep my feet dry and also I won't slip and slide. And I wore my knee guard as a prevention because my right knee is kind of wonky. Don't know why my voice is like that. So I'll be the only one on the trip because apparently mine is a one day private tour. We will be starting from Sapa town to Kat Kat village and then to Lao Chai and Taoban and that's where we'll take a bike back to Sapa. Oh my gosh, I am slipping and sliding. Lao Chai, which is where my guide is staying for lunch. We just stopped at uh, the market to get some vegetables. I think her house is probably somewhere over there. It's a little past 12 and I just arrived at my tour guide's place and she's gonna prepare lunch for me. Let me show you around her place. Of course, I got permission from her first. 
So this is the rice terrace. That must be super useful. Inside. Fireplace. The kitchen. That's my tour guide. And her family. So she told me there's a second floor. The second floor is used for storage. Okay, so this is the back part of their house. The toilet is really clean. And guess what? I think I found a thing. There's chicken. Some vegetables. The vegetable, eggs. eggs. And the chili. And chili. <laughs> Thank you. Just got done with lunch and now we are heading over to Tavan, which is the village next to Lao Chai. It's not too far away. I saw the signboard, it's two and a half km. My knee is actually kind of busted, but it's not too bad. I am back in Sapa town so I am just gonna go get coffee and walk around for a bit before I go back and wash up. So I decided to go get coffee from a further place. I'm walking to a cafe called Cafe in the Clouds. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's even worth it anymore because it's so foggy. Oh man. Walking downhill, it's easy but because of my busted right knee, uh, I think I might need to take the motorbike back uphill. So I'm going there for this view but honestly there's no view. There's no one there at all. Are you kidding me? This is hilarious because I came here for the view but there's no view. Look at that! What view? I can't see anything. And in case you guys are interested in visiting the cafe in the clouds, because in pictures it looks really beautiful but honestly the maintenance here need more maintaining to do because it's kind of dirty. It's messy, it's wet. The chair is kind of broken. The flowers are kind of dead. So yes, think twice before you come here for a visit. I mean, if you come when it's not foggy, at least you have the view. This is coconut hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is a little bit on the sweet side, but not bad. I thought it'd be weird to have coconut flavored hot chocolate, but it's surprisingly good.